Good morning, Lancers, and welcome to this week's edition of Lancers in the News. I'm Derek Miranda. And I'm Olivia Garcia. On Monday, October 5th, we are scheduled for a school mass. Students are reminded to come to school in their formal mass attire. Do you like making things? Are you an artist or designer? Come join the Maker Club Wednesday at lunch in Lab 109. Attention freshman class, officer candidates, there will be a mandatory meeting today in the activities office. Please be prompt. The following colleges are sending representatives to our campus. Today, Waynesburg University, Tuesday, Grove City College, Wednesday, St. Mary's College of Indiana, and Hope International University. Thursday, University of Notre Dame, and on Friday, St. Louis University and University of Dallas. Next Tuesday, after school, a college admissions office will conduct a workshop, How to Find Your Calling, Major, or Career. Please see Mr. Scott for further information. Last week, we did a story that focused on how students should be preparing to apply to their desired colleges. This week, with applications opening for most schools, Kendall Bernardes is continuing this series this week by asking students how they are deciding which colleges to apply to. I'm Kendall Bernardes, and last week we did a story on the College Center and if people are taking advantage of the College Center. And this week we wanted to do a follow-up story for anyone who had questions on how to prepare for college and what it takes to choose the right college. So, ooh, so we interviewed a few students on their college plans and what they think it takes to choose the right college. What colleges do you plan on applying to? I plan on applying to APU, Cal State Long Beach, um, Grand Canyon University, and San Francisco University. Uh, UCLA, uh, UC Santa Barbara, and uh, Cal State Fullerton. My two main colleges right now are Ole Miss and uh, UC Santa Barbara. What do you look for when choosing a college? Uh, spe specifically what I'm majoring in. I look for my major, a good atmosphere, a college that I could afford. I mainly look for uh, the majors that they have. Um, good area, I mean, good education. We also have advice from teachers on choosing the right college. And the main thing is, um, you know, and this is talking to your English teachers in advance, making sure that you know what the requirements are for the college. I'm here to give some advice from the perspective of a student athlete looking into uh, college options. Uh, my first piece of advice is to choose somewhere that um, has a college degree that you are looking for because your sport is only going to last you for about four years unless you're planning to go pro um, and then you have to figure out what your plan is for after that. Uh, my second piece of advice is to choose somewhere that you're going to be happy uh, regardless of having your sport. So um, this is more for when you get to college. Do not get a credit card because it's not free money unless you know what you're doing. I'm Kendall Bernardes reporting for The Lands. Good work, Kendall. The SAT is a standardized test widely used for college admissions in the United States. Possible scores that could be achieved on this test range from 600 to 2400. Combining test results from three 800 point sections, mathematics, critical reading, and writing. Tomorrow, senior and junior students will be heading to local high schools to take the SAT. Ashley Villa Vicencio asked students how they prepared for this important exam. How do you prepare and are you ready? I prepared over the summer. I did um, a summer a summer long class. It, it was around five hours a day for like around eight weeks. Um, I've been using the app and I have the book and yes, I'm ready. I've been studying like every morning for the past two weeks, reading the SAT book and practicing math problems. Um, I've pretty much just been going over my math problems and trying to remember certain things and formulas and yeah. Uh, yes, I am prepared for it. I studied all month for it. I have a book that I study with or for, so I use that in flashcards. I have an app. Uh, it gives you a question for each subject a, a day. Yeah, I'm ready and I'm studying, studying, and studying. Well, I'm a... <laughs> I'm taking practice tests. I got no cards, you know, I'm gonna look at, you know, online and stuff. And uh, I'm not ready for it, actually. I'm all, I'm a senior. Anya Lynn, senior. Miranda Ortega, senior. Um, Julia Valenzuela, I'm senior. Trayvon Sidney, and I'm a senior. I'm Jacob Ortiz, and I'm in 12th grade, senior. Asia Martinez, senior. My name's Toriano Sweet, I'm a senior. I'm Austin Malaboyuk, and I'm a senior. 
Just cause I'm taking the SATs and I get a highest score doesn't mean you gotta hate on me. I don't know if I'm gonna do good. I barely know my ABCs. I'm like, wait on me. Everybody finna see me on the TV screen. Maybe so close like it's 3D, but I'm about to get a test and it's like one, two, three, zero, zero. I might even get a full score. What's up? Thanks, Ashley. Now for some important homecoming announcements. Homecoming tickets are on sale for $40 a person. This includes a DJ with awesome staging, food, and an ice cream and candy bar, even a photo booth. Get your tickets at the during lunch at the front office. Are you asking someone to homecoming in a creative way? Make sure you capture it and post it on Instagram. You could win free homecoming tickets. Be sure to tag at almost ASB to be entered in the contest. All female students planning to attend the homecoming dance in a couple of weeks must have their dresses pre-approved. Students will be required to bring their dress and try it on. Dress approval is currently going on during lunch or after school in the 300 wing dean's office. Do not wait last minute to get your dress approved. Finally, we have a student profile on Tyler Revere Verninas. Unlike typical sports that high school students engage in, Tyler is a go-kart racer who competitively races outside of school. Here's Alma Lance reporter Jason Polanco with a story. What's up guys, my name's Tyler RV. I'm a senior, this is what I do. Uh, my dad, he was a big time uh, drag racer and I wanted to do something more with turns so we got into uh, go-kart racing and I loved it and my career just took off from there. And so my biggest accomplishment on my whole racing career was when I won state uh, back in January. That was a big time for me, being able to uh, you know, hold something high that was worth something. Um, also another accomplishment was uh, actually when I, I took third place, but it was huge because on that day, like, I received one of my like, biggest sponsors, GoPro, so it was pretty nice. Yeah, so my biggest fear in racing, um, you know, really nothing too big. I try to, you know, stay relaxed as much as I can. As a race car driver, you try not to think of anything too big that can psych you out, and, uh, get you scared. You just try to focus on what you need to do and uh, when you're doing it at that moment. Uh, so, Rest Performance is my biggest sponsor. They sponsor me for everything. They pay, pay it all. Um, GoPro is another one of my sponsors. They help me with all my filming. Uh, Snap-on. It uh, provides me with all the tools I need to work on my car. Uh, Cosmic is the actual chassis. Uh, RV Designs is the clothing line. And then I have Oakley for my racing gear. And, and the AIM for my monitor for my car. Yeah, so I practice uh, every week. Um, every month we run a different layout on the track. So I try to come out every single Sunday to dial in when I need to dial in on my car and to practice on each track. And just Tyler's next race is October 8th at the Triple A Speedway in Fontana. This concludes this edition of Lancers in the News. Don't forget to wear blue at tonight's game. Go, Go Lancers! Lancers. <laughs>